Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Grayson here. Today we're going to be starting our first AWP series. And by series, I mean I'm going to take a whole game and play it through and chop it up into various episodes and provide, hopefully, awesome commentary for you, the viewer. First series we're going to do is in one of my favorite video game series and universes ever. It's going to be in the Bioshock series, and we're actually going to start with Bioshock Infinite. So it is the third game in the video game series. It actually is the first story chronologically, so I thought we were going to go ahead and start there. So let us go ahead and get to it. Start a new game. Now, I am going to warn you, I don't do stuff on super hard and difficult, because I would just bang my head against a wall constantly, and that's no good for me, or you, because I'd get all angry and just, I'd never get through it. So we're going to play, generally play things on whatever the medium is or normal or whatnot. Other thing I'm going to warn you about is, I am going to miss things, it invariably happens I'm not one of those super perfectionist completionists, so there will be things I miss. Warning you now, go ahead and flame me all you want in the comments. Booker, are you afraid of God? No, but I'm afraid of you. What a nice little line there, right there to open the game. Also, have subtitles on for y'all. Yahoo! Yay! Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? And we're standing, playing. Not standing, rowing, or rowing. I guess we're watching at the moment, but still. So you expect me to show What's the this? Burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea. I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. These here are no. the Lutesses. And there are characters that appear throughout the game in so many different places. And you end up figuring out why they are where they are and how they do that. But still, it's crazy just to see them throughout the game in all these various situations, and all these places that you travel to. It took me a while, honestly, to figure out exactly what was going on. Cutscene. I'm sorry, I'll be honest, I will try and keep quiet through cutscenes for the most part. I see what you mean. We've arrived. And now we're actually playing. Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hmm. hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Yeah, dreadful place indeed to be stranded. A lighthouse in the middle of a storm in the Atlantic. By the way, hey, look, a lighthouse. For those of you who have played Bioshock 1, hmm, doesn't that kind of setting look familiar? So up the lighthouse we go. Note for me, do it, bring us the girl, and we'll wipe away the debt, this is your last chance. Now you end up finding out exactly kind of what the debt is, and how you really Excuse wipe it me. out, and bringing it's the girl how it does it. It, it all uh, gets so convoluted me. and crazy, but it's such a great story. Oh. Five sins, I shall wash thee. There's a ton, and I mean a ton, of religious symbolism and overtones in this story. Really, there is with the with Bioshock 1 and Bioshock 2 as well, but they become especially serious in Bioshock Infinite. Ooh, I can eat a jar of pickles for health that I already have. I will try and pick up money as I go, because money is important. Sodom, I shall eat thee. Is anyone here? Hello?
Hello? Everybody there? No? Yeah. Big Perry's on going, you must stop him. See, now see is a very interesting character. You should find out who he is later. Once you find his whole name. Oh, here's my jam here. Yeah. Such energy. Oh, feel that. Mm-hmm. I love the music that they have in these games because it fits the time period and it's all so different as to what most people listen to today. Do they know that? Shall I take me? Cool, so you're going to take me back down to Texas? Awesome. Oh, hello, sir. You appear to be quite Shit. dead. My, what a nice hole you have there. Are you okay? He's probably okay. He didn't need these. Looking everywhere, just trying to find gubbins. Hello, what? Trick bro. Sure, I'll take a parry, even though I'm full health. In New Eden soil, shall I plant thee? And I'm gonna be honest, at first glance, uh, it does indeed look like New Eden when you go to Columbia. Goodness. Okay, here we go. So, specifically, we have to hit once. Nice little uh, instant puzzle. <laughs> what a puzzle! It gives you the answer right in your hand. That doesn't look ominous at all. I already have a storm and red coming through the evil looking storm. Not ominous at all. Everything's gonna be happy. Gonna be no problems whatsoever. Okay. Yes, you are communicating. It's like the aliens from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Can I please get into here to take the fancy chair? Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. All right. See what I said? Fancy chair. Now, to be honest, if I just happen to be Booker in this situation, I wouldn't really want to get into the chair that clearly straps your arms in and basically captures you. But we kind of don't have a choice. So... Yes, bro, you, you really didn't see that coming? No, no, god damn it! Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. No, no. Three, two, one. I like how he's getting all freaked out. Well, I guess he kind of didn't figure something like this would happen. I love the kind of shadow effects where you get his face on the screen. is all like, oh crap. And then we come here. Oh, look at all that. Man, without all the psychosis and turmoil, and if this could actually work, I would love to live in a place like this. But, you know, there's all the craziness, turmoil, riots, rebelling, political issues. And if you watch, uh, subscribe to a channel called The Game Theorist. They talk about how the fact that Rapture, not Rapture, I'm sorry, this is Columbia, really could not work as a city. Uh, just by virtue of physics and all that kind of stuff. Ha! We are arriving... And still arriving. Oh, well, these are good deep questions here. I'm assuming they're referring to Jesus here. And did he really build Columbia? 
I mean, he was a carpenter, so... Singing here, it's so pretty. Oh boy, nice, good pride. See, now in video games, I'm not talking about real life, but in video games, profits are so many times a bad idea in terms of not being evil, despotic people. Okay, can I go, please? Thank you, thank you. And we're playing again. It would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the sodom beneath us, but not accept the three golden mm. gifts of the pounders. I don't really feel like Is entering a circle, new? but eh. someone from the sodom below. Newly come to Columbia sure. to be watered clean. Before yeah. our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I, I guess he gets me in. The city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm just uh, looking to pass through. Wow, uh, you're all staring at me. Oh, hello. Okay. Hello. Hey. I baptize you. In the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. <laughs> Thanks for almost choking me, guy. But this one doesn't look clean to me. Hey now, that's not very nice. Great, you told me unconscious. And Who's now there? we are in a Jenna flashback. There? Okay, Bring yes. Us the and wipe away the deck. What do you want? We have a deal to it. Open this yeah, now I'm into its right office. Mm. Told you. Do it seems to have just it. a touch of a drinking problem. Go away. Mr. DeWitt. Yeah, interesting. This certainly doesn't look like. Uh, where I was before. <laughs> Nor does this. Well, now we're in Columbia Proper. So did he, I guess, just kind of choke me unconscious and then dump me here? That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I agree completely, Booker. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Father Washington. Father Franklin, that's old Benny. Definitely looks a bit less corpulent than pictures portrayed in real life. And then old good old Father Jefferson. So this is taking founding fathers of the country and giving a whole different context to them. And so each year we recommit ourselves to our Here we go, man. Just see see what I mean about color palettes. Everything in Rapture in Bioshock 1 and 2 is very dark and dingy and I mean underwater city that's fallen into ultimate disrepair. Here, Clubby, you get all these bright colors, roses, sunlight, huge difference. Do I take his apple? Yeah, I'll take his apple. Little hummingbird. He who crossed the Delaware. All these various With pilgrims. Flames, There's another hummingbird. The I'm gonna go ahead and Walk through here, get away from the creepy people. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. So got a girl to find. So we find out that basically what he's doing is he's having to find this girl and bring her back somewhere. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. That's a nice, pretty city. Probably a bit disorienting with the whole floating up and down thing and not, but still very nice. Aha. Hello, kind people. Wow, Ross and y'all, man, I do. You, I think a whole bunch of people that are watching this right now wish to change their name to Ross and y'all. Try two dollar hot dogs. 
Was that? Is that everybody? I'll hold over here basically with Cora, but hey, and there's old Prophet guy again. No, can I buy a paper from you? No. That statue does not matter to a liberty scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. Hmm. No room for preference, only duty. That sounds a bit extreme. No birds. Wow, that water doesn't quite look so good. That's got a bit of a sheen to it. Perhaps a touch of oil. <laughs> Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to hey. a man. Hey, hey, uh -huh. sir. That the park is hush. Far I have to be an artist of a sort. You need to calm down. The hasn't arrived. The Jerk. Is full of rainwater, for God's sake. You know, and I'm not. I'm not giving this place my business. If they let people like that talk about all that, just kidding. Sorry, guys. I'm all for people having their own opinions. That's what makes uh, where I live great place. Hmm. Ooh, cheese. I'll take some cheese. How do, I, how do I get in here? Can I get in here? Sure, I can. Ooh, cheese. Ooh, bread. Still not quite a full health. Man, that guy drowning me really didn't number. Closed stores. You figure stores would be open in such a nice place. Oh, see, here's one of the cool things. Check this out. Mechanical horse. With a uh, glowing rock as its power source. Hey, it's a float parade. Sorry, pal. You gotta wait like all the rest. I, I was waiting, pal. Just trying to see the float parade. And look, oh, okay, so the prophet guy, as he just said, his father Comstock. There's Diane's wife and his child. Man, wow, it's very, very, very religious. Okay, I mean, I'm all for people get to express their religiousness. Yeah, yeah, Alright, now we can cross. Taking the right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. Can't be everywhere at once. Can't be everywhere at once. No, you cannot. Columbia. Columbia, Raffle, and Fair. Huh. 1912. We're in the year 1912. That's important. Remember that. Hey, here's lots of nice fruit. But a bit weak in the key the scroll. If you get my meaning. Strong or sorry, weak in the key and the scroll. Now, if you remember. Oh, Franklin Washington Jefferson had scroll, key, and a sword. Shh. Look, look. I see you standing there judging me. I'm not above searching trash cans for what I need. Stop judging. The Fall Who's Shepherd seeks only to leave the lamb stray. Gee, I wonder who the Fall Shepherd is. Probably some sort of outsider. Hmm. Maybe next time. No, that's not really nice, Booker. Come back if you change your mind. I hear the singing. Where is the camera? Where it's coming from? Uh -huh. Let's dance, everybody, let's dance, have a dance party, yeah! Yeah, dance, this is the book of dance. Jumping dance. Alright, y'all enjoy that. A musical interlude. Oh, there's a nice pretty image. Where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt! Huh? Telegram for you, sir. Oh my gosh, do it. Did this Stop. guy know my name? Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Tess. 
That's from the Lutessis. Alright, so we have to get the monument out. Oh. Money. That's our destination. Right there. Not there. No, 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 no. Right there. Here we go. So as we go through this game, it's kind of like in Bioshock 1 and 2, Columbia falls apart, but unlike in Bioshock 1 and 2, after you get there after it falls apart, you go ahead and get to watch it fall apart in front of you, Columbia. See, this guy's got fire, this guy's going to shoot lightning. Vigor is essentially your... Yeah, Jeremiah Fink. Figures. Vigors are essentially your magic powers. In this game, you've got guns, and you've got magic powers, essentially. Uh -huh. I'm not stealing this popcorn. Yeah. Sure, I'll try fucking Bronco. Uh, there is. And there's devil number one. I love the little effects, like you know, you're an old timey carnival. Let's not hit the lady. Yeah, let's hit that guy. Devil number two. Woo, he's on a roll. Thank you. Appreciate it. Watch out. Also picked up that rock. Cool. I got money. Can I keep? Can I keep the vigor? No. Yes. No. All right. Now this basically is one of the vending machines. And <laughs> three hundred and seventy-five dollars. No thanks. Don't uh, have that much. Do you take uh, IOUs? No. Fine. Stupid machine. Uh -huh. See, this is like a this is like a legit carnival suit here. You basically can kind of go through here and win prizes and whatnots. All right, I want to get twenty points to win all of the money. This is kind of like your tutorials. They give it to you in an interesting way with the whole. Okay. Oh, I hit that one. I hit him right in the front. It's a cardboard thing. There's metal. Sweet. Woohoo. One of mine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Alright. There's one more thing I do really need to go on. Uh, here we go. Need to check out the voxophone. This is kind of a weird, nippy little thing. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Ah, oh, cool. These things is where you get kind of your audio journals and. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. I'm not paying for it because I don't have any money. Ah. So voxophones are essentially your uh, audio journals. You know, every game you get audio journals. That's how they present them. This one. We get to fight that guy later. Isn't that great? What a wonderful, wonderful situation. Giant guy with metal arms. Have to fight him. Have you ever seen anything like it? They look so sad. Sad. When you're that strong, what's your name? Salts is essentially... <laughs> Salts is how you refill your magic bar. So you're not gonna let me in, eh? Mean me. Oh crap! Have you ever lost a penny to a vending machine? Yes, I have. 
want to get into the lottery, handsome? Yes. Give that mechanical moron a taste of possession. Uh, if you're looking okay. by, you need only say more. Sure. Um. You know, hey. Hi. How's it going? You look, uh, you look nice standing there. Look your uh, possession vigor. Anyway, if I can possess you. <laughs> I'm just joking. Please don't, uh, please don't call the police. Hey, here's some salts. That's just, that's, when you see these, that means salts, which means, uh, you know, mana, basically. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. Sounds great. Wow. Hey, see, she loves me. I'm pretty sure there's not anything I could drink in the real world that would give me that effect. At least I kind of hope there's not. Yeah, yeah, I know how this works. We're going to go ahead. That here we was, uh... go. Basically what I do is zap this guy and he says, Oh, sure, you can enter. Well, if it isn't a Zeblin in Buford, your spot at the Rapid awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber at our flying fairgrounds. Thank you, don't forget it. Hello, hey, here's Lutesses again. Heads. See, they pop in. Come on, oh, let God. me through. Heads. Or tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I imagine. Hmm. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Wow. Lots of heads, no tails. That statistically shouldn't happen. That's a little uh, songbird plushie. He's fun. We'll see him in a little while. I buy anything from the vending machine. I can, but I don't need them yet, so we're just gonna go. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you. Ah, hey, hello, hello, hello. I don't like your hat, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on. And now we get a nice little picturamic, picture, picturamic, panoramic. View of Columbia. Oh, nice. So cool. So cool. I love how they're literally basically floating at the top of the clouds. So it looks like the clouds are brown. Be cool. That thing's pretty cool. We'll find that out later. That, uh. Hmm. Well, that certainly was interesting. Good night, Irene. Okay, I'll play the other log. Here we go. Madam Lutess, I have read all your books on the sciences. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest uh, regards. Constance. Well, that certainly isn't good. Is there a way I can get that unburned from my hand? Well, the little girl talking to uh, Lutes, one of Lutes, the uh, lady Lutes, and it's cool. She was like the you know big scientist, you know early, early, you know, woman that succeeded. Because you know, this was 1912. At this point in time, women were definitely viewed down upon and you know horrible. I would not want to live in this time on that fact because uh, yeah I'm very much against people being put down just because of who they are actions actions are important actions are what people should be judged on not appearance or gender Man, oh, hey, here's a group of people having a great time. Let's party here. Hey, party, 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 party. See, who would want that hat? That's such an ugly hat. 
A lot of people want that head, apparently, though. Oh, hello again! You look a lot like the girl that gave me, uh, the possession! Awfully pretty, too. Hello, hello, hello! What would you like? Would you like to... Oh, you want me to grab one of those? Sorry. Here we go. No sale. Silly. There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me. Sure, thanks. Can, can you can you root Is for me like right here? Oh, you're right there. Okay. Great, that's me. Oh wait, it said not to pick number 77. Oh, this probably isn't gonna end up great. Well, what on earth is this here? Oh, great! They expect me to throw this and humiliate these people. Fantastic. <laughs> See, okay, now obviously this is part of the game. If this were real life, by God, I would be really pissed off. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw it at that guy. Well, we tried to. Because that kind of thing pisses me off. That kind of prejudice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stab and sneak in the grass, false shepherd. And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> sure you are. <laughs> Wait till you see what happens to you. And boosh! Oh, that looks not so wonderful. Hush. Oh, I made all the people away. Wait, no more party? Oh, hello. Cool, I can execute. Yeah, I just beheaded that guy with this thing. Who's talking? The dead guy talk? Jerks. Mmm, no yummy. Yummy. That guy definitely looks like he's having a bad day. Alright, moving on. So what happened there was I got the raffle ball and they expected me to throw it at the couple. It was an interracial couple, which of course there's nothing wrong with, especially in today's day and age. But it was 1912 and they were super prejudicial back then, and so they expected me to be super prejudicial. I decided to chunk that ball at the announcer, and then they caught me. And then I got this cool killing thing. To sum up, in case you weren't quite paying attention. <laughs> oh, me. I would have, you know, felt too would have rushed at me at the same time. Probably would have had a better chance, but... Alright, to be honest, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go, so I'm just gonna kind of... That guy has a gun. Ah, sweet! I got the gun now. Ooh. Okay. Remember, how do you aim? Oh! Whoops! No! Oh, no! I shot that guy in the naughty bits. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to avoid doing that, people. Look, okay, so... I was having this nice, pretty golden gun here. Aw, oh, yeah! Look how pretty it looks. Got that from getting the season pass for the DLC. May very well play those after we're done with this one. And that box phone. We'll go ahead and let that run while we're going. I told you, come stop. Yum, 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 yum. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, let's see. Now, I see, I could just blow this thing up, or I could do this. Oh, I should shoot people for me. Board. Why, you can say they're simple souls. Independence <laughs> for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose. Oh, come on, quit telling me not to damage my allies. He's not going to be my ally for long. Come on, come on. Unpossess. Now I can blow you up. Ow. 
that was not the smartest option to stand there and take all that in the face. Don't always play the smartest way. Ow! Okay, where are we going? Uh, one bite. Oh, I'm about to die. See, it's a good thing I'm not playing this on hard. If I were playing this on hard, I'd probably already be dead. Alright, there we go. Amazing how everything goes right, fire, rack, and ruin in just, I mean, seconds. And I was doing fine. I was at the raffle, having a good time, partying, singing good night, Irene, and now I'm being forced to. Oh! Bad turret! Alright. Alright, so. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with that thing. And then run along. Loot corpses. Here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Pistol him up. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Well, that. Oh, fireman, but there's no fire. Fireman is here. Where is he? Now, as we're going to rapidly see here, a fireman is not my friend. Because he's not saying, hey, let me put that fire out for you. He's going to say, hey, let me set you on fire. Think, uh, think. Uh, think Fahrenheit 451. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to backtrack some. Ow. Ah. You going to let me through? Oh. Eh, <laughs> just open the gate. It's getting hot. What's going on? Hello, Mr. Fireman. Oh. Okay. Oh. Man. Did not mean to use the possession on him, but that's cool. I'll take that. Vigor. <laughs> hey, immune to possession. He's not immune to death. And. Kicks. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, noise. hello, Mrs. Devil. <laughs> I would not want to date a devil. Because that would probably end up with me looking with my hands like this. I really don't want to drink that drink. Rest to throw up. <coughs> yeah, throw a fire grenade. Oh. That wasn't no sample. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw a fire grenade. I got it. Everything's on fire now. Woo hoo. So not only that, I, well, I get to see the demise of Columbia, I get to cause it. With that, sorry. Yeah, some shot you are, buddy. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna save me from having to do it. Alright, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, sir, please. Thank you. Alright, so. You know, I haven't really kept count of my body count so far, but I'd say already it's kind of a lot. You end up murdering a lot of people in this game. Blue Ribbon. Mmm. Ooh, they have pork. I want bacon. Bacon, please. Let's go in here. Excuse, excuse me. Can I have some bacon?
We love some bacon. Cool. Yeah, that was just telling me I had season season pass stuff. All right. Oh, look at all these goodies that it gave me. Yes. <laughs> Why are you following me? Oh, hello. Ah, hi, Lutus. Sure, thank you. What was that? Surprising. Surprising that it was. Surprising that it didn't kill him. But magnetic. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks for the near poison. If it doesn't kill you. All right, cool. So I got my shield. Look up in the upper left corner, I now have a yellow shield bar. I'm just going to gather all my stuff here. Give me a moment. Okay. Got all my gear set, ready to go. Oh, it's a nice empty room now. What I did was pick up all the kind of gear. It's like, you know, armor, equipment and stuff. And then all those goofy bottles are filled with what they call infusions that they give you a bonus to your health, your shield, your amount of salts or mana, you know. And so now we are moving on. Yeah, hey, back off to the nice pretty city. And here I get to use my air grabber doodad at the same time. First time. Basically I'm going to somehow make a ridiculously long jump. Whee! Oh, damn hook must be magnetized. Jump and just, you know. Ah, Ezio ain't got nothing on me. Actually, he's got plenty. Then I'm gonna go ahead and murder that guy. Sweet. Ooh, I'm only two away from achievement. And I get a machine gun. Oh, I get a fancy gold machine gun. Machine gun will be, I think, my primary weapon throughout the game. Because it's nice. I always like machine guns. No point hiding. And added to the body count. Added to the body count. Oh, all right. I went ahead and punched that guy's head off and made him all electrify. So now we're running through. We're trying to get to Monument Island. In case you've forgotten, it's been a little while. And Monument Island basically is where Elizabeth is. Quick, flush him out! Flush who out? Me? I'm not doing anything wrong. Use my vigors. I end up using guns a lot more than I use the vigors, but some on my. Oops, oops, sorry, you're already dead. Generally not in the fashion of beating a dead horse. Die. I don't want to die. No, that's alright. Old Mr. Turret's behind the thing. Oh, now he's not. Ah, <laughs> here we go. You should stop firing, because that's not nice. Jerk. Ah. <laughs> and now you're just a pile of bone. It happens when you mess with Booker DeWitt. I'm too cool. Oh, I'm going to enjoy doing that. That was basically one of the pieces of gear I picked up. I go in there now. So we're just going to move on. Get, are we getting close? Yeah, we're getting closer. I'm going to try to get to Monument Island before I finish this part. Glass of vine for myself, yeah? Assistance. They're here! 
Switch. What? Go this way. Take your voice down. Yeah. Go here. I want to go. I'm just gonna, you know, take a quick look through y'all's house. See, uh, any nice fineries that you have. Ooh, Silver Eagle. I'll take that. Yeah, pineapple. I don't know really why you keep pineapple in a dresser, but. Oh, here's gonna be some good stuff. Uh -huh, salts. Oh, thank you for the sandwich. Man, y'all keep food in weird places. I guess you might call that a. What's well, got clothes in? I wouldn't keep a sandwich in with your clothes. That's kind of weird. Thank you for your uh, hospitality. Yeah, there we go. Well, I hear the police coming. I like how he says, close in through the kill as he's running away. I just set that patch of oil on fire. Oh, hello, mechanical horse. As I was trying to say before, I was really interrupted by walking out of that house. I will mostly use guns more than vigors, but I will still certainly use vigors. Especially some of my favorite ones. Ooh. Are you one of those fire guns? Ooh, and I'm out of ammo. Back to pistol. Nah, he's not. He's nice and contained. You don't need to send anybody else. go. We are getting closer. Mmm, yeah. Uh, Alright, now. I'll tell you something that's a little bit messed up. Just a touch. So, uh, A, gross. There's one good apple in there. I'm going to go ahead and eat it. So, the Order of the Raven. Well, that's cool. Guess who's the leader of the Order of the Raven? That guy. They view him as one of America's greatest heroes. Right. Nothing wrong with these people here. Now oh, shut up. Oh, yeah, you're all kidding. See, I can't. Ooh, hello. I can't murder or stab people in this one like I can in Nazi zombies. But I can murder punch them. And murder electrify them. Thank you all for your kind words and welcome pistols. And when the angel Columbia gave unto the founders the tools to build a new Eden, they did so without hesitation. For 85 years, they prepared the way of the Lord. But when the great apostate came, he brought war with him. And the fields of Eden were soaked with the blood of brothers. The only emancipation he had to offer was death. Yeah, this guy's just absolutely nuts. Off his rocker. Hey, look at all the rotted food. People need that food. What are y'all doing? Oh, yeah, there's a great image in it. Jerk. Shoot you in the head. Alright. Let's go ahead and get through here, because... This guy really likes ravens. And when the men and hypocrites of Washington betrayed him, hmm. hoods, ceremony, and uh, ritual. Never mind y'all, anybody. Like our fathers broke of the great apostles. Yeah, 
not that this is in front. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and... Finish the day! Oh man, dude, I love this piece of gear that gave me free. There's good classic melee right there. You have no idea what's going on. You're just punching... Right, who's shooting at me? Please stop it. Hey, you think my golden gun actually has the same principles as the golden gun from uh Golden Eye? That'd be nice. <laughs> Is that a universal principle? Anytime you make a gun gold, it kills in one hit. Alright. Jerk. See, hey, here's another infusion. Uh, two in health, <laughs> three in shield. Just go ahead and put one in salts. Ooh. Thank you all for giving me time to drink my infusion. You are very kind. I hope you enjoyed your repair. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? Hello. I don't really think I need to give up. I think I'm good. So many corpses to loot. But I would love if it kept a kill counter for you. Where are we going? We're going this way. They're talking about me! Full of wrath and bent on harm, the anarchist maliciously wounded several Colombian people. I don't think wounding is the uh, right the answer. Of virtuous bear goers. <sighs> All right. You notice the like Raven dude that I haven't actually killed him yet, so I'm sure that's going to be coming up soon. Alright guys, this seems like a good enough place to stop. Didn't quite make it to mine, but we'll get there next time. I'm going to try to keep these parts somewhere around, you know, between 30 minutes to an hour. And we are about at an hour. Probably cut this down just a little. And just going to land on this nice image here. Ugh. Be ready for part two coming up. I'm going to try to do essentially one a week. Uh, you know, basically one and we're playing a week. Anyway. I'm going to take a short break from these here before too long because I've got an idea for a uh, kind of a Halloween special that I'm going to do. So be on the lookout for that. If you are enjoying what we're doing so far, please go ahead and leave a comment below Tell me what you think I'm doing right. Tell me what you think I'm doing wrong. Please go ahead and hit like if you do like indeed. And if you'd like to see other videos that I've done and want to continue watching this particular series, please hit subscribe and... We will see you next time. Later, y'all.